If you belong to a neighborhood Facebook group, chances are you've seen a lot of posts like this, where people are trying to sell you air duct cleaning services. And there are so many of these posts that it's starting to make people very suspicious. I had a friend of the channel tip me off to this, and he mentioned how his community's group in Minnesota was just getting flooded with these posts, and he was curious to know what was going on. So today, I'm gonna show you what I found out, and I've gotta say, there are some tangled webs down in these air ducts, so buckle up, and I'll tell you everything. It all started with a post from a guy named David Luke. He's a member of this Minnesota Facebook group, and he says, hello everyone, I would like to extend my duct cleaning services to anybody in need. I have an experience of nine years now, and I have started my own business. I'm licensed and insured. We are giving special discounts, and we will show you before and after pictures of your ducts through our duct camera. If anyone is looking for duct cleaning services, please keep me in mind. PM me for further details. All right, sounds like a pretty straightforward community post, except scammers love creating profiles with two first names. And the profile has like zero activity, so I do a reverse image search using socialcatfish.com, which is the best tool out there for reverse image searching and people identifying. And this face belongs to a completely different guy. That's why I'm blurring it. The real guy probably has no idea his face is being used to sell duck cleaning services. So now I know that he's an imposter, but what's he got up his sleeve? I write him and I ask, what's the best way to get a quote for duck cleaning? And he says, hey, I just need to know your house size in terms of square feet and how many AC units do you have in your house to give you an estimate. And I say it's 2,400 square feet and we just have the one unit. And he says, we will charge you 250 for the service. And I say, great. And he says, would you like to schedule an appointment? I say, yeah. And he says he can have his team come over on Friday and he asks for my address. Okay, what's his angle? He's not really gonna come to my house. So I give him a random address that I find on a Minnesota real estate website. Then I ask, do you have a website? And he gives me the Facebook page for a company called USA Deep Cleaners. But the website it's linked to says it's a family owned and operated business that's based in Florida. How is he going to send someone to this Minnesota address if the real company is based in Florida? That's when he says, kindly provide me your contact info so I can put you on our schedule. And there it is, kindly. The only people that have used that word in the last 50 years are scammers. So then I give him my phone number and he says, see you on Friday and thank you so much. Yeah, okay, David, there's no way he's going to show up. This guy's impersonating someone else and he's pretending to be a business in Minnesota that's actually based in Florida. But we'll wait for Friday to come. And while we wait, Let's try another guy who's also selling air duct cleaning services and see if it plays any different. So I messaged Daniel Mellinger, who's using the picture of an author that Social Catfish helped me identify. And he's also selling air duct cleaning in Minnesota. I say, what's the best way to get a quote for duct cleaning? And he says, hi, could you confirm me what is your house and how many furnace and AC units do you have? Yeah, it's pretty much the same response as David. And he goes on to quote me the same price. He asks when I need to have it done and I say ASAP. Then he says, okay, can we come tomorrow between 9 to 12 p.m. for the services? Hey, that works for me. The sooner I can get to the bottom of this scam, the better. So he asks for my address, and I give him the same address that I got from the real estate website. And then I ask him for his website and his company name. And he gives me the Facebook page for America's Best Duck Cleaning, which is a great name for a company. Now, the pictures are all stock images except for this one. Their trucks have a logo and a website called americlean.com. And I go to this website and I learn that they are what looks like a legitimate company based out of Indiana. And when I call, they have no idea about somebody named Daniel. Um, we are an independent company in Maryville, Indiana. So that wouldn't be us. Mm, okay. So then Daniel asked me for my phone number because the tech is going to call me before he comes tomorrow. All right, what in the crap is going on? I was fully expecting them to charge me 250 bucks and then just never show. But apparently you only pay them when the job is done. This isn't making any sense. How are they going to scam me? But tomorrow comes and I completely forgot about this because I don't need my ducks cleaned and I don't even live in Minnesota. But I miss a text from a guy who said he's on his way to my house. Uh, excuse me? And then I get a text from Daniel saying, hey Ben, it's Daniel from America's Best Duck Cleaning. My tech waiting outside your house and he is calling at this number, please pick. Okay, what on earth is happening? This Daniel is using a fake picture and a fake name and he's representing a fake company, but apparently he sent someone to this address in Minnesota? So I call the tech to see what's going on. I came to your house, but I, I ringed like uh, many times there is nobody in the house, uh, I don't know. Oh. Now, at first I think that he's pulling my leg, 
But then he tells me that he noticed a for sale sign on the house. And then and in front of the house, I think uh, they put the, something like you are selling the house or some of this stuff like that. It's not that house. Holy crap, this guy really went to the address that I provided. What was he gonna do there? So then I tell him that I'm going to talk to Daniel and reschedule. And Daniel tells me that we can reschedule for tomorrow at the same time. And I ask him again if I'm paying before or after the job, and he confirms that I pay after. So is this a scam or not? If this is a real air duct cleaning service, then why are they using fake profiles and business names? So then I ask him about this AmeriClean website that's on the car in his profile and ask him if that's his website. And the link that I send him is a redirect link that I created at grabify.link that is meant to show me the IP address of whoever clicks on it. And he clicks on it and he's redirected to the AmeriClean site, but I'm able to see his IP address and he's not in Minnesota or Florida or Indiana. He's in Pakistan. A guy in Pakistan is running an air duct cleaning company in Minnesota. This is the weirdest thing I've ever come across. So that's when I call the number on the Facebook page that Daniel gave me and there's no answer, but I later get a text from that number saying, hi, it's from Air Duct Cleaning Services. How are you? Are you looking for the ductwork cleaning? I say, yes. And he asks, what's the size of your house? How many AC units and furnace do you have? It's the same freaking sales pitch. And I hit him with my redirect link. And once again, the guy's coming from Pakistan. So that's when I call him to get to the bottom of this. Uh, hi, good afternoon. And who uh, this is Roy and from Air Duct Cleaning Services. And where is your and, office based out of? Uh, we are from Minneapolis. You guys, I lived in Minnesota for two years, and I can tell you this is the only person on earth to ever call it Minneapolis. It says you're in Pakistan. What the f bro? I'm not from Pakistan. Uh, yeah, you are. Well, that pissed him off, but he needs to be smarter if he's gonna conceal his true identity. So we've got Daniel who's really in Pakistan and apparently so are his coworkers. This got me Googling air duct scams and I can see that they're everywhere, but they don't really go into detail about who's behind the scam or how it works. They just warn you about people that aren't certified who might do a crappy job. But then I stumble across a story from a Canadian newspaper published a couple years ago titled duct cleaning scam trace to Pakistan. And it talked about a team of telemarketers based in Pakistan that advertise duct cleaning services. But when the workers showed up, they only pretend to clean the ducts by blowing air through them. It took about an hour to do a job that normally requires three. Then when the job was done, the customers usually paid the workers in cash with $50 going to the man in Pakistan while the remaining $100 was taken by the workers. And apparently the workers were arrested, but they pointed to a man in Pakistan as the head of the operation. Could this be the same thing, except now they're using Facebook groups to reach people? So I call back this tech that showed up to the house to see who referred him. What's your, what's your supervisor's name, Daniel? Yes. What, what's his last name? Why? I'm trying to um, get a hold of Daniel, and I don't know which Daniel it is. Can you tell me his last name? Okay, if you, if you want, you can, you, you can schedule with me directly. Um, but you don't know Daniel's last name? You, you don't want a job? So I'm done with you, okay? Okay, this is getting really weird. So now I'm looking for more of these air duct agents to dig deeper. I contact a guy named Ali's John, who claims to have a company called USA Deep Cleaners, which is the same company that David Luke apparently represents. And when I tell him that another guy works for the same company, he gets very suspicious and he goes quiet. So then I start looking at my local community Facebook groups and sure enough, we've been flooded with air duct offers too. People who say they've moved into the community and want to sell some air duct cleaning services. So I contact a Julia and she follows the script to a T. She asks for the square footage and quotes me a price of $249. Then I ask her for her website and it's called A1 Duck Services, which looks like it's probably fake. But then I ask if I can call the office to schedule a cleaning. And she says, sure. And she gives me the number to her manager, who's a guy named Harvey. Except nobody picks up the phone. Then I message a guy named Mark Bryan, another dude with two first names, who's using someone else's picture. The script is the same, but he says his company is Purple Ducks, which is apparently a real company based in Utah. But when I ask him to call me, the number is the same number that Julia gave me for her boss Harvey at A1 Duck Services. Okay, I thought that he worked for Purple Ducks. Why is he calling me from A1? Now I missed the call, but he leaves me a voicemail. Hello, Ben. This is Mark from Duck Cleaning Services. Hope you're doing great. 
Uh, give me a call back whenever you are available. I hope you have a nice day ahead. Goodbye. And I'm pretty sure that that voice isn't coming from this face. So I call up to talk to Harvey at A1.cleaning. Hello? Hi, is this Harvey? Uh, yes, this is Harvey. Who's this? Mm, Harvey sounds a heck of a lot like Mark. Hello, Ben. This is Bra uh, Mark. Uh, yes, this is Harvey. Who's this? They're the same picture. And, and you know Mark? Yes, Mark works with me. Um, because you sent, you sent me a voicemail last week and you sound awfully like Mark. <laughs> no. Just a second. Band. This is uh, Mark from Services. Hope you're doing they, good. That, uh, <laughs> give me a call back whenever you are available at 17. That, that's you. You left me a voicemail saying that your name was Mark. So I, I don't know why you're calling yourself Harvey now. Hello, Ben. This is uh, Mark from Services. Hope you're that, that was you, right? <laughs> this freaking liar. But by this point, it's Friday, and I'm starting to get all these phone calls from technicians who want to come over to the house that I don't even own. Hello, this is Jason with the Uh We have an appointment for you today. So I get on the phone with these techs to figure out what's going on, and they appear to be legitimate technicians in Minnesota who are just as confused as I am. The foreigner that called you from Pakistan oh. tried to do the stuff through the stuff cleaning thing? I mean, I don't know how long you have, but the, the short story is this. They just tell me that their office sends them jobs. One guy tells me that he has another guy that finds him customers through Facebook marketing. They do some type of Facebook advertising, and I don't know to that extent of what that is. I just know he gets a lot of jobs off of Facebook. Now, eventually, I get one of these guys to break. I say, what country are you in? And he says, USA. I say, you are not. You are in Pakistan. And then I hit him with proof, which seems to really stun him. I say, you're using another man's profile picture. Why? And he says because he wants to look like a real profile. He goes on to say that labor in Pakistan is very cheap and duck companies contact them for leads. He has technicians that are both in Minnesota and New Jersey. Now, I really can't tell from this guy who approaches who. Do the duck companies contact him or does he just reach out to these technicians and say, hey, if I can line you up with a job, will you give me 50 bucks? My guess is the latter because most of these techs don't know where these leads are even coming from. So is this a scam? I guess it could be because you don't know who they're going to send to your house. You might get a very reputable tech or you might get some rando with a vacuum cleaner and that's why you're seeing so many bad reviews and scam warnings. Why not just tell the truth? Why not just say that you're representing a company and you have some technicians in the area and you'd love to give a free estimate? Why create a fake profile and a business page and pretend to be someone that you're not? Why do you even need to use a face? How about you just learn how to create Facebook ads and then run those ads on behalf of the technicians. You can build up a nice clientele. Then everything's automated and you're not spending all day posting in Facebook groups like a creeper. Seems like an easier and more profitable way to run a business, don't you think? So if I was to give you some advice to avoid air duct cleaning scams, I'd say find out who the actual company is before they send someone to your house and check the reviews and look up their actual phone number and call them up to make sure that they're the ones coming and not someone else. And make sure that they're NADCA certified. Legit companies won't get nervous when you start asking them hard questions. <laughs> and if one of these Pakistanis on Facebook sold you on the service, then I'm all for them getting a commission, but not if they're lying or leaving out important details. So make sure that you know what you're signing up for and hopefully this video sheds some light into what's really going on. But I'm also very interested to know what your experience was or if this has happened to you. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you all later.